Hello, Just Jacks here and welcome to my channel. And today we are back with a new mould, the Chameleon Powder, new big jugs. And we are going to try, because I was reading that you'll get a different result if you put different colour resin in there with these Chameleon Powders. So, so far I've just tried black. With this particular one I've got the idea and I'm also going to try very, very carefully to just get this in this big old crater zone here. I'm going to try white. Give that a go. So, first things first. Let's sparkle this guy up if I can. Just, let's use that to prop this up. Just in this big dome bit. That's what I'm going to try. Now we will paint this guy a touch, so I won't worry too much if it goes in places we don't want it to go. We just really want it in this big old crater section. And like I say, if it goes anywhere else, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be painting. Now, very soon, whilst I'm doing this, I'll have a little waffle. I'm going to be trying to make some professionally finished coaster sets. For I am going to open an Etsy store as a starting point until I can get to the point where I can make my own store. Do I try and get down there as well? I try and get down there as well because I think it'll work. In fact, let's go everywhere. Because, like I say, I'm going to be painting him. So it doesn't matter if it goes everywhere. I think. We have got everywhere. Everywhere that I want to, anyway. Alright. A little sparkle into the air. I love the look of that on the camera. It just shoots up. My phone's going to be very sparkly come the end of this. Okay. So I am going to go and mix up the epoxy resin. Then we come back. We're going to pour, and then when we come back after that, we'll see if I got lucky. Because what I am trying as well, which I have been lately with the past two that I've done, is I'm going to try, since it's summertime and it's so hot, not heating with the heat mat, letting it dry. I've got the cover, so it'll be all covered up and protected from debris. But I'm going to try and let it just dry au naturel gone super slow with this, mixed it. Uh, this is Jan Chun equal parts epoxy that I've been using. So yeah, it went really slow. I can feel it warming up. Oh, that'll toast my hands up a treat. Mixed it really slowly, let it stand, torched the bubbles, added the colour, Torch the bubbles again. And this one's ever so slightly creamy. So I don't want to overdo it with the amount of white. Pop that over there for a second. So, yeah. Bubbles come into the top. We'll torch them in a second. Get the cover on. Turn my back for 24 hours and see what we got when we come back. Okay, we are back. Now you can sort of see what it is. It seems to have cured really well. I left this to cure naturally. I didn't use the heat mat this time. And apart from peeking at it to see that it was doing okay, I did not touch it at all. Um, I wanted to just let it do its thing and see if we could minimize bubbles. So let's get them out oh that's come out really well there's nothing left in the mold 
so that's good it's going to need a wash because it's incredibly sparkly i don't know if you can see all that sparkle check him out he's my little spaceman chilling on a very 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 tiny planet how cool is he And I don't think we have any surface bubbles at all. I don't see any surface bubbles. And there's lots of places there could be one. And there might be one just there. So one surface bubble. That's so cool. And this is the, I think this is the most successful one yet with just one surface bubble. There's not, there's a couple around the bottom here, but I'm not worried about that. And a tiny bit of tidy up work to do because there's a little bit of an edge. That's so cool. Oh, I love my little space dude. What I'm going to do with this one is I am going to clear the area, come back, and we're going to do a little painting. So I'm going to paint up his suit. I think I'll leave his, like, visor. I'm not going to touch the planet. The planet is absolutely fine as it is. So it's just going to be him that's painted, and we'll leave, like, a couple of these little buttons. Okay, we're all set up. So, I know I'm doing the suit white. So I think that would be the best place to start. Let's go for it. Try and decipher as I'm going what bits are going to be black. This band around his arms will keep black. Right, white bits done. Might give him another coat in a moment. We'll see. It's black bits time. Now. I'm going to go with straps black, base of boots black, so strap. Maybe this pipe black and the headband piece black, but leaving those bits metallic. So let's just see. The spaceman is done! Check him out! So I just added a little bit of blue to his sort of like control panel of such here or you know release for his backpack. Added a touch of silver to his visor area. So it's got a little bit of reflection from the planet but I thought it'd make more sense if it wasn't the exact same colour as the planet. Same for his little beverage there which he's having a drink in space somehow. I thought it was like a little control stick of some such, but it isn't. It's a little can of summer. Oh yeah, and I painted this over white. That was black, but it just weren't working. So, yeah, he's so cool. I'm really pleased with him. It's the first one that I painted on a more serious nature. because so I really like the way resin looks. Not doing anything to it, but they're so... You just have so many options with it. You can leave it as it is, or you can paint it. So, yeah, I'm glad I did paint it. He looks so much more better like that, chilling on his, we'll call it a mini planet. So the only thing I may do to him is I might come back to him again in the future and just give him like a little brushing of UV resin just to protect him because I didn't sand it down. If I were to catch this, it would scratch right off. But if I give him the smallest coat of UV resin all around and a little, just a little, around the very edges here 
he'll be fine. So this is fine. That's part of the resin. That is not going anywhere. This will scratch off. So yeah, very cool. And I think, can't remember if I mentioned or not, this mould was like less than a fiver. Really good. Really good. So yeah, thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's given you some ideas. And if you're new to resin, it's given you confidence in painting it and having a different play like that. And that's about it for today. So like if you like what you see, comment if you've got something to say. And subscribe if you really like what you see and you want to see more and know when it's coming. Thank you all again so, so much. Take care. See you in the next one.